Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover a premium plugin, the Article Scraper plugin. Now, there is an Article Scraper add on, which you can see by going to the add ons menu, and it's free, but it only gives you basic uh, options and article scraping ability. However, there is a premium plugin, the Scrapebox Article Scraper, and it gives you a lot more. So, the way you get it is you go to Available Premium Plugins and you choose the article scraper follow through the pay link and then once you've paid for it you download it here and wait for activation once everything's up and running and ready to go you would go to premium plugins and scrape box article scraper and this is what you'll see starting on the far left we have the proxies and settings tab pretty basic if i want to use proxies i'm going to put them in here i can load in a list if i like then i'm going to choose the directory where i'm going to save my articles and it comes up automatically with your plugins directory there in an articles folder and then I can choose to save the articles as and obviously UTF-8 is preferred and then set my connections make sure you take note that your connection should not exceed the number of proxies that you have otherwise you might get banned I'm actually gonna back it down just a little bit here I got 10 proxies but I've already been using them so I don't want to go overboard and remove hyperlinks from articles if you like Use proxies when available. If you like, save articles in a subfolder created based on keywords. That's pretty handy because if I want to put in various keywords here, like say I want to put in um, car, white hat, and scrape box, it'll create a separate folder for each one of these keywords and save each respective article related to that keyword in its own folder. Otherwise, you'll just get them all stuck together there. So I like that. Scrape number of articles per keyword. I'm just going to do 50 because I don't need loads of articles. If you set it to unlimited, you'll get a lot, um, depending on the keyword, I guess. It depends on how much is out there. But you can get a lot. I've gotten well over 100 per keyword. Um, and I just don't need that many so uh, we got different directories you can choose and then once we're done with all that we actually have the key, the harvester here I can load in keywords if I like and then just hit start you can see as it goes through here it's gonna go through and pull articles the total count here for each one will be 50 um, and so we've got our articles obviously scrape box here there's not as many articles about scrape box but we can see for white hat and car there are still lots of articles now we can pop this open here and see our actual articles let me get that up here and here we have all three of the folders with each one having its own respective articles and 10 ways to save money in your automobile and there we go nice article all laid out for us and all available there and we can see there's a lot of articles so going on to the next section we have the article translation option what this does is it allows you to translate from various languages so say I have a bunch of articles that I want to translate from English to German since that's what's there so let me choose my articles here and we're just gonna go ahead and choose for this one let me get this up here we're gonna choose the car folder and do the car articles and select that and then I'm going to save them in the same thing but I'm going to make a subfolder under cars called German and just save them in there ticket yep okay and hit start and away it'll go you can see it's processing now an interesting thing I can do here is I could go from English to German and then load these German articles back in and say go to French and then load the French articles back in and say translate back to English and as you translate from one language to another you keep the same ideas but because of the translations you wind up with different words so you can actually create unique articles that way and so once that's done um, we'll just open this up here and we'll see our German articles and we can see three signs you need an oil change in English and then three signs you need an oil change in German. And so that is the translator part of it. The word replace, what it does is it takes a list of articles or a folder full of articles and it will replace any words that you choose to replace. So the format is existing word equals new word. So if I had the word car and I wanted to replace every time the word car was there with the word vehicle I could do that now I could also choose to replace with other words as well or spin text so I can go car equals car 
vehicle, etc. So that's not going to pick one of those words, it's going to replace it with that entire spin text line. And so I can make lists of these based around particular keyword sets that I'm using. If I always was using cars and I always wanted to replace it with vehicles here, or say I wanted to replace it with SUVs or campers or whatever, um, and then I can load those lists in here and use them. And basically what we're going to do is choose a folder and choose a group of articles here. Say car and then car and I'll do replaced. And I'm just going to change this, take this first line here and hit start and it's really quick so we can bring back up our list of articles here and this is the list that's replaced so three signs you need an oil change and as you go through here you can see like down through here go beyond the recommended time frame before you need your car into auto shop this is replaced with vehicle so that's how the word replace works the API spinner is pretty basic it hooks up to the best spinner and you punch in your email address and your password and then you choose a folder that you want to have input and output from and then you can choose your quality here and your synonyms and that sort of thing and so let me get that hooked up and I'll show you how it works and so I've got it hooked up here and I chose the keyword white hat this time and a folder for TBS spun and it's going to connect to the best spinner and spin out those articles based on that and then we can go in and actually see them as well and as we pop them open here three negative SEO practices blah 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 and you can see that they are all spun out and all those spin texts come from the best spinner and it's using their database so that is how that segment works for the API spinner and then under spin tax what this does is you select a folder or an individual article that already contains spin text and then you select where you want your new articles to be saved and you tell it how many you want and it'll make individual unique articles out of those and it'll get rid of any duplicates so if we take for instance our articles that were just spun with the best spinner and then select a folder underneath it here and I'm just gonna call it unique and I don't need more than 10 articles so let's hit 10 hit start it's gonna go through there and do that and then let's open back up here and we can see our unique folder here and it, it even names them here with a number on the end rather so you can see three negative SEO practices here it's three negative SEO practices and what you can do to do about it and then here it is goes through 1 through 10 and it gives you the unique articles where it has taken that spin text we got from the best spinner. Obviously you could use any article that has spin text and create individual articles for it. So that's pretty handy. Then we have the article rewriter. This really has a lot of features. What we can do is actually load in individual articles. So let me just load an article here on Scrapebox and advanced internet marketing for instance. As you click on a word it'll bring up synonyms over here and right now there's 7966 synonyms in my database and so I could say advanced internet marketing let's say state-of-the-art highly developed and superior so you can see it brings it in here and it even colors it then we can even nest spin if we want so every time it says superior I want to also swap it out for highly developed so now it's going to go through here and 25% of the time it'll use the word advanced, 25 state of the art, 25 it'll use highly developed, and then the other 25% of the time it'll pick one of these two. So, you know, if you were to take this and use it in another program, you'd obviously want to make sure that it supports nested spinning. But it does support nested spinning, and you can go ridiculous amounts of levels deep uh, and, and just make it almost illegible. But you get the point there. And then as we go through here, we can actually just hit next, go to next word and it will go along here and just go to the next word and give you synonyms for each one of them. Now we do have an auto spin text option. What it's going to do is go through and replace all the words in here with all the words in the da database and it's just giving me a little message there because I already had some done. And so it only works if you don't have any spin text in there. So let's hit auto spin text. Let's do its thing. And it went through and used all of the words in the database 
to replace all the other words. So a pretty, pretty spun out article there. There's not very many words in there that actually don't have other words attached to them. Then what we can do is we can actually preview this article and it'll take one of the spun versions and show it up here and then I can get word density and look and see how many of each word is repeated through there and the percentages. I can even enable stop words filter and get rid of stop words and then I can export to CSV that sort of thing. So pretty handy there. If I want to add my own words I can so let's just load back in a, a blank article. It'll be easier to work with here, or a non-spun article rather. So let's say for competitive here, I wanted to load in my own keywords. You know what, let's not do that word. Let's go do another word that'll work better. For instance, um, let's do Google. And so I can actually make a new record and add Bing and Yahoo. And when I click on Google in the future, it'll bring up those as options. Now, once the record's made, I can add synonyms to it. And then when I'm going through here, I can apply to all. So every time the word, a particular word is used, like if I want to take common, for instance, every time a particular word is used, I can right click on this and apply preferred to all common. So every time the word common is used all through this article, I can replace it with the word preferred. And you can see as we go through there, it looks like it was only used once, but if it was used a bunch of times, then it would be replaced in all of them. And so, that's a pretty handy feature. Now if I want to add synonyms to my database in more of a bulk fashion I can do an import and so if I wanted to take and add articles that have spun text in them so say you have a particular niche that you're working with or a particular language that sort of thing and you want to add your own synonyms in and you have an article that's already spun so say you run it through the best spinner or some other service I mean you can create articles with any service you want out there and get their spin text database in your articles because it's using those words in there and then when you load this in under import it'll bring in all those words and it'll add all those synonyms to the database and so if I wanted to do something like this and this is obviously very basic but I could do something like this um, have an article that has spin text in it. When I import this, every time it's going to associate all these keywords with Google, as well as all of them with all the other ones. So every time the word Lycos was in an article, it would give me all of these other options as synonyms for it. So let's just go ahead and import this, and then we'll click on Google and see the difference. So if I jump up here and import it, and we can see our, our available synonyms count went up. And now let's go back to Google here and click on that and we'll see all of the other engines coming there with it. Now obviously you could spend a lot of time and effort creating databases and so you can back up the database which is pretty handy and then and it creates a, a backup with the date on it and everything as you can see with the pop-up there and then you can actually have different synonym databases so if you had different niches you are working with or different languages that sort of thing right now I'm using the English database but I can create a new database and then save them off as individual ones and then I can select a particular database that I want to use when rewriting articles which is pretty handy Then of course I have the option to save the article when I'm all done with it as well now the last option here is the word replace option this is handy if you want to make like one particular article that's unique so if I want to go through here and every time I have the word hyperlink replace it with something else so website link um, uh, let me take that off there and replace a word then it would go it's been abused let's see because since and see it got rid of the word because there everyone everybody can do through it make a complete comprehensive and so what's happening there is now I'm getting completely unique articles so if I want to go through and make just one article I can use the word replace if I'm looking to make like hundreds of articles it's probably not going to be a good option but you get the point there um, just a nice option depending on how you want to use it and so the last tab here is the actual article poster so this is allows you to post to WordPress and blogger blogs that you own. So you'd punch in your title of, of your post that you want to do, and this is an actual post that's going to go to your website. Punch in your tags, punch in your categories. You can actually put your article here, and then you can edit it, put in hyperlinks and pictures and that sort of thing. And you can actually import your article and load and save data. 
And then when you go to post, you can have it set to the default date, or you can give it a date range that you want the article to post in. And then down here is your actual account. So you're going to import URLs. That is going to be in this form. So you just put your website, then the pipe key, and then username and the pipe key, and then password. And you make a list, one per line, of all of your websites. And you import them here. And then you can choose your connections. Uh, remember, this is, you're posting to your website, so you probably don't want to go up to 100 connections if you have 100 websites all on the same server. Uh, and it's on like shared hosting or something. You might have issues there. So set your connections and hit start. And it will actually go out to your websites and post. And you can obviously load spun articles in here, and it'll post just a unique article. And then when it's done, it'll even give you the permalink where you can visit the actual page that the article was posted at on your site, and then you can export that when you're done. So there's a lot of options in the article scraper plugin, and you can twist things up a lot of ways, really a lot of ability to get unique content, and even the ability to go out and post it to your own blog network, to your own sites, or you can obviously save it off and use it however you want. And that is the Scrapebox article scraper plugin. <laughs>